God to all of us as we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Just a little talk, Jesus makes it right. Oh, I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It made my heart in love and it wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus. day the Lord has made. Amen. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. That's what David said. Amen. Amen. Thank God for another day. Yes. We are already experiencing his brand new mercies yes. because they're new every morning. Amen. 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 And I don't know about you saints, but I have a lot to praise the Lord for. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. I thank God for the breath that's in my body. Yes. I thank God that I have the activities of my limbs. Amen. If you want to see a miracle, just look at me. I thank God for bringing me over the hills, over the mountains, and through the valleys. God has been my rock, my rod, my shepherd, my defender, my comforter, my healer, my guide, my deliverer, my provider. He is my everything. He is. My everything. And the scripture says in the 150th Psalm, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Amen. So come on, saints, and bless the Lord with us this morning. Come on and let's bless the Lord this morning. He's worthy of all of our praise. Oh, come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on, let's bless the Come Lord. Come on and bless 
the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Come Lord. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Come Lord. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Hallelujah. 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 what the scripture says and if God said it it is so praise the Lord amen. God is just so worthy of all of our praise amen. Amen. amen yes many people say that the 23rd Psalm is their favorite scripture or contains one of their favorite scriptures amen, amen. and one of those verses I believe it's the sixth verse that says surely come on say that with me saying surely surely, surely. You know, when you say surely, that's a thing of certainty. Amen. Amen. And so we're praying that you in the cyber world will join us in our worship this morning and say along with us right there in your living room. Surely. Surely. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Shall follow me all the days of my life. Surely. Surely. Goodness and mercy. Goodness and mercy. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days. All the days. Of my life. Of my life. Glory to God. 
For your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest nights. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. I have lived in the goodness of God, cause all my life you have been faithful, oh yes you have, all my life you have been so, so good, with every breath that I am made I will sing of the goodness. Give you everything. Ever 
everything. Your goodness is running after. It's running after. Come on, saints, get on your feet and let's sing this to the Lord. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Come on, your goodness. Your goodness is running after. It's running after. Come on, with my life laid down. With my life laid down. I surrender. I surrender. I give you everything. Your goodness. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Come on, one more time. Tell the Lord. Your goodness is running after. Come on. It's running after me. Come on, come on. Tell him his goodness. Your goodness is running after. Yes. It's running after Come me. on, with my life laid down. With my life laid down. I surrender now. I give you everything. everything. Your goodness. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Come on, Courtney. All my life. Because all my life you have been faithful. Yes, he's been faithful, oh, yes, saints. You have. In all my life you have been so, so good. Has he been good to you? With every breath that I am able, Hallelujah. I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, saints, I will sing. I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, I will sing, come on. I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, one more time. Lift your hands. I will sing of the goodness of God. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. First giving honor to God, who is the head of my life, Pastor Hines, Sister Hines, and all of you. My scripture reading is coming from Psalms 118 and 1. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I just want to give a quick announcement for any of you that have been using the Cash App. We were using the Lily Baptist Michigan Cash App. We are changing the Cash App name to LMBC Jackson. We are making that transition. If you're still sending money over to the old one, we will get that. But if you could start sending it to the new dollar sign LMBC Jackson, we would greatly appreciate it. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 says, Remember now thy creator and the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Without your random texts and calls, homesick. Without your care packages, hungry. Without your prayers, uncovered. Freshman college life. I want to thank my Lily Missionary Baptist Church family for all of the above and your continued encouragement. I am now the Northwood University record holder for the 100 meter hurdles as a freshman. <laughs> that is from Kiera Johnson. Thank God for her. We're so proud of you, Kiera. Continue to keep God first and he'll order your steps. We'd also like to wish a happy 12th birthday on April 20th to Cameron Cotton.
And this concludes my morning announcements. Pastor Hines will follow. He's good. I said the Lord is good. I'm thankful that God has granted us another day of life. Come on, give the Lord a hand. I want to say to Cameron, you see me after church, your grandpa got to find something to bless you with, and I want to definitely acknowledge your 12th birthday. Amen. The 20th, that's what day? That's Sunday? Saturday. Yes. Amen. All right. Uh, somebody turned five, didn't they, also? Kay Lynn. Amen. Well, we're going to have to talk to the announcing clerk about that. All right. You see me after church, too. All right? All right. Amen. Praise God. Let's give her a hand. I want to say uh, to all of you that uh, helped make the home going of um, Brother Willie James Morgan a success, give the Lord a hand for your strength. Uh, let me have just a little more volume. I do want to say... Um, I was moved by God on my way. I was trying to hang and stay till it was all over, till the last worker had left. I thought God had conditioned me to my people from Ben Harbor. You know, Ben Harbor stayed till the sun go down and come up. Well, Tennessee got something on Ben Harbor. And so, uh, but I was standing in the gym and I saw a woman who made a declaration in the kitchen that got out front into uh, the gym. Uh, lady was so tired, she said to another lady in confidence uh, that I'm not coming to Sunday school. I'm so tired. And, um, you know, they forgot uh, James Morgan and Charles Estelle's spirit was alive. And they told Sister Hines, and Sister Hines told me. And um, I looked and saw the one sister, she was so tired, she was just laying on the bench. And it hurt me to see her that exhausted. But I knew God was going to reward. And I want to do something for many of you, some of you I blessed yesterday. And today, uh, God moved again. I want to say, Sister Watkins, watch who you talk to. <laughs> Bless God for Sister Lois, the FBI is still alive. Sister Watkins, will you come here and get your rest after today, after church? I want Brother Larry to come, Sister TC to come, Sister Sheree, uh, Sister... Uh, this sister is your sister, Sister Teresa, and uh, Sister Rosie, and Sister Gloria. Uh, just praise God uh, for what I call over the top. Now, I'm going to have to do something special for Sister Irene Estelle and Sister Mary Sanders because they was troopers, you know. Now, they is... They might be younger than y'all, uh, but they 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 stayed long. And I was trying to get Mary home and uh, Irene home because Deacon Charles Estelle was falling asleep at the table. Uh, but you see, they're back here. I give the Lord a hand for them.
for you that I overlook. Uh, be mad with me, but fall in love with me. Uh, when God tell me to do something, I'm going to do it. And uh, I, I don't get into this, I forgot to call somebody's name. No, God forgot. Uh, but he knows everything. I said he knows everything. I used to tell Lynn Teen, it's Joe's birthday. Don't bring a gift in here for a lease. Now, don't raise a lease that every time her brother gets something, she's supposed to get something. Make grown children, not babies. Come on, y'all. Come on, get a law to hand. It's tough, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, it's been a quiet um, week. I'm asking you to pray. Uh, I'm was scheduled to be in Detroit Saturday, uh, but there's a program in Jackson uh, that I have to be present, and I'm choosing that one and get to Detroit late. The Lord knows. Uh, there's a blessing coming for the people of the Jackson community, and God going to use as a conduit, a vehicle, a device, the Little Missionary Baptist Church. And give the Lord a hand for that. Uh, I'm trying to live so that God can trust me to bless the people in the community. You know, God's not going to give you nothing if you won't be right with him. That, that's just God. He's he just righteous. And um, he'll bless a lot of people through one person. I said to uh, Mother Morgan and to some of you, Sister Morgan, that me and Sister Hines will be giving a financial blessing in Willie and Laura name for the Little Missionary Baptist Church Endowment. And uh, that those plaques, many of you can get involved in it if you will give towards it. Uh, it will be... What was done yesterday have caused us to prepare for tomorrow. And uh, the theme is, uh, we came here and we're leaving something here. And, and that ought to be in your spirit uh, to be a part of, I'm going to help make sure the church live when I'm gone. D did you hear me? Oh, yeah. Something wrong with a person who wants it over with when they're gone. Let me tell you something. When the scripture says money answers all things, uh, uh, you could probably be healed if you had the finance to see the right doctor. Uh, believe me, uh, there's a reason that people go to the Mayo Clinic, the University of Michigan. But everybody can't get in because some people can't pay the hotel bill just to stay there to the sea. I learned that my daughter went to Cle Cleveland Clinic, the University of Michigan. We talked to doctors in California. But I put her in the car and drove her to the Mayo Clinic. And they said, can you be here a week? I said, bill it on this. They discovered in the fifth day my daughter had a rare disease. At her, at her, her age, she was only one of two people with it. Now, I've been all over. They've been cutting on her, giving her medicine. But it's what they say, practice of medicine. And if you don't have finance, you can't get there. You just can't walk off your job and take your child somewhere. I wish y'all knew what I was talking about. And so I'm trying to tell you, uh, I've seen some churches in this town that was blossoming. But years went by, now they closed up because they didn't have the finance for tomorrow. And, and, and it don't take much if you start planning now for 30 years down the road. I hope you get this that's listening. 
Oh, praise God for all of you that will contribute and get on the list. Saturday, I'm a part of a pink ball endowment for Allegiance Hospital. They said, Pastor Hines, we want you there because we're going to make an announcement. A person going to contribute to make sure Allegiance Hospital stay forever. I said, don't y'all have enough money? They said, not for the things we want to do. Uh, I want to thank you for your attendance this morning. Um, we have a baptism today after church. Come on, give the Lord a hand for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's why we gather, that people can be saved. Thank God for the leading of the Holy Spirit. Go to um, a program that I'm on and walk out and go into a store that the Spirit has drawn me and see a person there. And then turn that person over to a member and the Holy Spirit gives the increase. From that meeting, she's been saved and shall be baptized. <laughs> that example will help us with our morning message. All of you that believe in the power of prayer, uh, pray that the word of God will have free course. Free course is that it will not be hindered. Something so easy as a person getting up, walking over, trying to hand somebody something will hinder the word of God with some people. And I, my prayer is that people would be spiritually in tune. What you're trying to do is no, no more important what the Holy Spirit is doing. And so uh, have a feel for when the Spirit said do something. Have mercy. Second Peter, first chapter, uh, the third and the fourth verse. When you find it, please stand. Second Peter, going towards the end of the Bible. It's such a beautiful day. I thought about Sister Hines about four in the morning. I saw her singing in the church. And I said, she's not a gorgeous woman. She's a beautiful person. And not just outwardly, but inwardly. And the spirit began to deal with me. That's how you want the church to be. You know, some people, uh, they gorgeous, but they got an ugly spirit. Do, do, do you understand? Know Have you ever ran up on somebody like that? Uh, like, Ooh. And you can't see their beauty because of their ugly spirit. It almost pays you not to meet them, just look at them. First Pete, second Peter, one and three, according as his divine power, given unto us all things that pertaineth unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that have caused us to glory and virtue. For whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. You may have your seat. Keep your Bibles open. For a brief moment, a little while, I'd like to preach to you on this subject. 
we have been called to glory and virtue. Answer your phone. Let's give Apostle and Sister Walker a hand. Praise God for their presence. I seen you walking with that pretty woman. You don't want to come sit up here with me. So God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's we we that now understand the privilege of sitting with family. See, sometimes you have to lose to understand or appreciate when you got it. I, I go on to church out of town and I tell, man, I just want to, I don't get to sit with her. I just want to sit with her. We have been called to glory and virtue. Answer your phone. Second Peter 1 and 3. The phone was invented by Alexandra Bale. Well, he is given credit for the telephone. You got to be careful about how they steal somebody else's pattern. I wish somebody knew what I was talking about. Uh, well, he was given credit for the telephone, which grew out of the research of the telegraph. Uh, sister. Angeline Watkins going to learn there are three communications. Telephone, telegraph, and tell Lois. Uh, stuff just get out. Now you can change Lois' name and put it whatever name you in. Deacon Estelle just said tell Willie Morgan. Thanks to his or their contribution, communication continues to expand or improve across the globe. It's not just the United States. It has been proved in Australia, Germany. Africa. Uh, improvement is what the body of Christ needs. Are y'all uh, hearing me this morning? It allows people to stay connected from virtually anywhere. I can call the apostle and don't even know where he's at and talk to him because communication has improved. Uh, I don't have to go uh, to the nearest phone and operator connect me to apostle Walker. Uh, I don't have to have that dime or quarter and find Superman's closet and go in that telephone booth and die. When I was coming up, my parents would say, make sure you have a die. Uh, my daddy would say, make sure you have a die. And if you get in trouble and you cause the trouble, don't waste your die. But if you didn't do nothing wrong, don't look for me, I'm coming. I wish somebody helped me here. Uh, thank God for the advancement. Uh, now I can carry my phone with me. Uh, now the only problem is, uh, y'all put so much on my calendar, I forget where I lay my phone at. Uh, sometimes a lot of stuff can get on your mind, and, and you can misplace stuff. And that's what Sister Hines said to me when she said I do. About 10 years in, uh, she had lost her sight and had to wear glasses. And uh, she was talking to me and say, you seen my glasses? I just can't find them. And, uh, I just reach up on her head and put them down on her eyes. Uh, I, you just keep living. Uh, boy, so much get on your plate, 
uh, you'll have stuff in your hand and looking for it. I, I wish somebody knew what I was talking about. Uh, uh, and I tell you, uh, you think it's just us, it's everywhere. Just got problems and, and stuff grew out of the invention. Microsoft uh, made one man the richest man because of the telecommunication. Bill Gates, what you do will cause somebody else to be better. Apple, and uh, you know, I, I like my iPhone, and some of y'all swear you got better phones. Uh, but I'm talking spiritually here, not so much as Connell. Answer your phone. Uh, you know these phones will tell everything now. Uh, spam. Uh, and what's them, sometimes tell me, don't answer that, that ain't no good. What do you call that phone? You know, somebody call you and you don't recognize their number. What you say, uh, Apostle? Oh, but I see, he got a special phone. Block the call. I, I ain't learned that on my phone, and I need you to show me after check because mine said take call. They be like, Pastor Hines, can you pay my rent? Pastor Hines, can you get me out of jail? Pastor Hines, can you give me your money? I get all them calls. But I love to see Lily and JoJo on my phone. Just do my hard good. Y'all need to call me more often. Lisa, I call you once a day. Act like you're talking to the Father. Pray three times a day. Call me. Morning, noon, and evening. I miss that old girl. When I called her, she said, what you want? I want to talk to you. She said, God gave you mama. I said, he gave me you too. I, that's how we have our little love language. She act like she don't want me to talk to her, and I act like I want to talk to her, and we do that for about 45 minutes. And then I told her mother, uh, I was, had got dressed this morning, and Sister Hines was getting prepared. I said, give me a hug. And she turned around, and she hugged me so good. I said, that's how Lee Lee hugs me now. Lee used to give me the shoulder, but now she hugs me and, and she always pat me right in the middle of the back. And she quietly says, stay long. And I tell her, and don't you leave. It's our little love language. Old Joe looks at us and says, you created that monster. I said, well, it's my monster. In this letter, Peter writes twice, and he opens the letter to encourage the readers to be diligent in their Christian living. Uh, he, 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 he don't say just take your time. He wants you to make it important. Because there are some particular privileges that he reminds us that the mighty power of God has been given to believers. You know, you know just like on your phone, you don't know all the options. You hit a possible you had to say, Reverend, get blocked, call. I still don't know how to. I got one, one, one son preaching the gospel. I know when uh, it's him because when his call come in, it says ID block. And I always ask Pastor Boyer, he said, how, is, how you know it's me? You're the only person called me with block ID. I said, why you call me? You don't want me to call you back? And uh, that's our love language. He just laughed and he said, ain't nobody like you, Dad. I, I said, well, I know because God didn't make but one of me. He wanted believers to know uh, God has enabled or caused them to live according to God's will. Uh, sometimes we think living to God's will is hard. Uh, but God has given us 
divine power. It's right there in the third verse. According as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertaineth unto life and godliness. God has given it to you. And, 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 and sometimes you don't know you've been given it, so you don't use it. But the Lord has given this to us. In other words, what is necessity or important to please God? Yes? Uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 9 through 11 says that we would please God. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, uh, without faith it's impossible to please God. But God has given us all a measure of his grace to please him. And God wants us to please him. And he wants you to be diligent in pleasing him. He's been given this to us through knowing Jesus Christ. How do we know him? Uh, he's given us in 2 uh, Timothy. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says stuff like this. All scripture is inspired by God and is profitable. In other words, it, it'll make you rich. Profitable. It won't bankrupt you. It won't take from you. It'll add to you. But you got to get in the scripture because you can't even have faith to be increased because faith come by hearing. And hearing, I've got some believers here. Not only is it profitable, what is it profitable for? For teaching. You, you can't teach in the church and don't use the word of God. Uh, don't come in here and tell me what you learn on your job. Don't come here and tell me what you experience as a child. Tell me, thus said the Lord. Because that's the only thing that's going to make us profitable in our learning. It's even profitable for rebuking. Now, you, you know, you can tell folk off or give them peace of your mind and you'll destroy the relationship. But if you tell them the word of God, you, you, you know, pe people, well, uh, Pastor Hines, why you don't believe in selling? Well, the Lord told me not to say it. Now, how, how you going to fall out with that? Well, Pastor Hines, why you don't believe in shacking up? The Lord said, come from among men. And see, it'll rebuke foolishness. But by using God, he'll draw people. It'll be profitable. You might not like it, but you just can't go out and say, Pastor Hines, lying on the Bible, using the Bible. For correction. The word of God will correct you. Folk, folk will want to be crooked and make a straight line, and it's impossible. And you need the word of God. So this is how we do it. I, I'm telling you, I, I, I watched the, uh, the older saints. I, I was just praying for Courtney. She was trying to serve us, and uh, 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 Sister Estelle and her mother was like, now, nah, wait a minute, you can't get a pastor gray, uh, dressing without no gravy. And, 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 and Mother Estelle, she's just so kind. She said, baby, I think he likes some gravy. And then she looked over there and says, and look, cranberry sauce wouldn't hurt him. And I was saying, glory to God. Glory to God. Have your way, Lord. But, but, but I'm going to tell you, young folk can walk fast, but it's the older folk that know the way. Somebody going to get that with me. Thank you, Aunt Ruby. Not only for correction, but training in righteousness. You watch yourself. The word of God got to train. You can, you know, you can train yourself wrong. You know the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing the same way, looking for different results. So you can train yourself wrong. I used to tell the kid, no, no, no. Drills and skills. They said, what? I said, you just need some skills, but you need to drill. So you can't think of crossing the person over. We got to practice, and we got to practice right. Put your foot 
make sure you always in a shooting position. I said, see, look, look, look at this tape, Joe. Look at your foot pointing towards the door, and it's supposed to be pointing towards the rim. It's called eye hands coordination. If your feet turn right, your hand will go right, and your hand going to go where your eyes go. But you got to learn how to be trained right. In the words of the late Willie Morgan, he said to uh, Reverend Melvin Hicks when he said, why'd you do that? He said three words, watch and learn. You, you got to be trained right. And the word of God is our plumb line. Now, I'm talking to a contractor out there. I'm talking to somebody, no, if you want to make a good line, get a straight line and help me somebody. 17 says that the man of God or the woman of God may be complete. You are not going to be complete without Scripture. Uh, don't come in here and tell me because you've been uh, living on green acres for 40 years so you know what to do. And, and you got to have a spirit that says, I want to be complete in God. Not only for me, but for every good work. The word of God will help us in good work. Now, that's going to come back up because that's divine power. As children of God, we have been called and we need to answer our phone. Uh, we need to talk to God because God wants to talk to us. Uh, don't let him go to your voicemail. A lot of people have let him go to the voicemail and they answered it 20 and 10 years later. What you said? Lord, I didn't know that. Uh, uh, if you don't watch yourself, you'd have missed a lot of Sundays, but you answered your voicemail and he said, forsake not the assemblies of yourself. As Hebrews 10 and 25. And, and, and some folk get their message late, but as long as you get it. But I advise you, answer your phone. Spirit talking to you. Why don't you talk back to it? Get your heavenly language. Don't be so stubborn that you won't let God take over the conversation. If you live good here, you can live in glory later. Romans 2 and 4 says this. The goodness of God leadeth to repentance. When you start uh, want to do good and good get in you, you start repenting for, for some stuff you forgot you done. Uh, y'all you, you, didn't hear me. Watch, watch. I, I'm going I'm to I'm wake all of you up on this example. You ever lend money to somebody and they forgot to pay you, but you ain't never forgot they owe you. Folk, uh, they forget when they in debt, but they don't forget when somebody owe them. So I said, uh, my, uh, I, 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 I said this, this is how, said how for years said, uh, Pastor, and I know when she wants something, when she go to that, that title instead of that lover move. You know, just act like I got to be right when she call me Pastor. I said, yeah, baby. She said, oh, just give me a, a $20. I'll pay you back. I said, but I got you on record. 1979. Thank you, God. Well, some folk can thank God because God touched me to give it to her, but I ain't thanking God because... But I, and, 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 and it have trickled. It's like a bloodline, and it got in my kids. Uh, uh, Dad, you know the Lord's been good to all of us, hasn't it? When they go there, I know they set me up for something. I said, yeah, the Lord's been good. You know, he'll supply all of our needs. I said, yes, he will. Yes, he will. And they get me. I done got hooked now. Yes, he will. So I said, the Lord, I'll take bread and feed his children. He said, yes, Lord. And, and you just like our father. Can we have a little bread? <laughs> they done set you up and you done got self. And I'm going to show you in the scripture, when you start moving towards the image of God, you want to act like God. <laughs> uh, 
the preacher, writer of this, is making a divine call. I said a divine call for an appeal for holy living. He says uh, we need to go towards goodness because at the end of that third verse, it said through the knowledge, that's what I told you, scripture, that has called us to glory and virtue. And the last word virtue just means goodness. Uh, we've been called to do good. And, and we ought to look to do good. Uh, you know, I, when I first was starting, I, I, I was looking for folk to bless us. But the real thing is to look for folk to bless them. The, the scripture says this, it's better to give than it is to receive. But if you don't get in the scripture, you think you're getting ahead because you're asking folk to give and they give it. But the real measure of the scripture is be that person to give. Which one is more like Jesus? And God so loved the world, he gave. He didn't ask somebody to die on the cross. He took God the Son and died to bless us. I, I, I want you to come on and start putting wood on the fire. Because not only do we have some particular privileges of divine power, we have some precious promises. As God's people, we have great and precious promises. It's right there in the fourth verse whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promise. I said great. You ought to touch somebody and say, you know it's great and precious. It ain't just anything. I mean, this is his best stuff. You, 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 y'all yeah, yeah, don't hear me. Y'all yeah, don't hear me. Uh, 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 one of my uh, dressing coordinators, Taylor said, uh, you need to open your jacket, Pastor, and let them see the color. Uh, she said, that ain't just any old kind of suit. And then the chairman of the trustee walked up and said, we might have to take up an offering for you, Pastor, if you ain't got the socks to match. I said, what you said? <laughs> uh, you, you, you know, I, 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 look, uh, now, wait a minute, you have to understand, I went into a special sock drawer. Because some socks I just wear and let Sister Hines hand them. You might get one back, you might not. Uh, but now, I, but these, I take them off, put them together, and I, which I said, did you wash them? I fold them. Because I got a special job because, you know, when I bring out the purple shoes, uh, y'all about to shut up in here. Look at here, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping in high cotton now because it's precious and it's promise. Uh, you, you, you don't know who gave me the shoes, that's, that's why. Uh, and, and so some things are precious and it's great and God gave it to us. And, 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 and you ought to treat it better. You ought not just uh, let it go to voicemail, you ought not just not answer it. You ought to say, he talking to me. And I, I want to hear what he got to say. God has given us some precious promises. And I thought I wanted to find out what are some of these promises. If they're great, I want to see if they measure up to my greatness. You, you, you know, great is what I call all relative. You know, uh, my son uh, fumbled the ball. I'm hollering, he, did you see him? He fumbled it great. And you saying, get the bum out of the game. Uh, you, you, you know, it's just relative. Y'all don't hear me. Uh, I, uh, my mother, I would, uh, uh, when I was a baby, uh, used the bathroom on myself. My mama said, you saying something now, James here? And the other folk, can you take that baby out of here? Uh, uh, you know, it's just relative. Uh, you think a whole lot about yours, and somebody else think a whole lot about theirs. 
Uh, you might not think my children worth much. I think they worth everything. I wish somebody helped me here. And it, and it behooves who you're talking to about their child. Uh, some folk uh, uh, go to fighting you about their child. <laughs> this Hines said to me one time, I'm going to sit on the other side of the stadium. Because I want to be first lady. Because some of these folk are crazy. I said, well, baby, yeah, you, you sit on the other side of the stadium. That's because she didn't want to hear all the negative or the haters talk about her son. And, and, and I said uh, to myself, just give me three more haters and make my day. I wish somebody helped me here. You ain't doing nothing if you ain't got no haters. And folk ain't bothering you if you ain't doing nothing. Uh, I, and, and, and I know sometimes I find out she loved watching Joe more than she liked watching me. And, and sometimes time have to tell the whole story. Let me show you what I mean. When Joe was in high school, I was the coach, and we was up there in East Lansing, and Leontine was up in the stands, and it was raining, and it was uh, cold, and Lise was sitting there, and, and I was on the field. I said, boy, they here to support old dad. I said, great God, good job, Joe, good job. We got beat, and Joe graduated. Next year, I was the coach, sunshine, nice clouds, good day. I looked and saw Sister Hines and Elise in the stands, and they was getting up, walking. And I said to myself, see, when you want to think good of yourself, you say stuff like this. Oh, they must be looking for the bathroom. So I said, they're going the wrong way. So I said, Coach, hold the kids. I'm got to go. I said, team. Y'all know what I get. You know, sis, team. Lily. They looked at me. I said, hey. The bathroom this way. They said, we ain't found the bathroom. We found in the car. We ain't going to sit out here in this sun all day. I said, oh. And I thought they were sitting in the rain and the storm for me. I got home. I said, why did y'all uh, leave at halftime? Well, we only came to see Joe playing, and Joe don't play no more. I said, well, the dad is still coaching. Oh, we see you anytime. You'll be on JTV. I said to myself, I see where I stand. And that's all I'm trying to tell you. People measure greatness through their own eyes. But I think I got some evidence that God has given us some great, precious promises. One of them is the promise of eternal life. 1 John 2 and 25, and this is the promise, that he has promised us eternal life. Another one you could put in your uh, Rolodex or your memo is he answered prayers. 1 John 5 and 14 says, this is the confidence we have in him. If we ask anything, According to his will. Now back up, don't run too fast. You just can't be asking stuff. You got to ask according to his will. And if you ask according to his will, the conclusion of the whole matter is he will answer us. Oh, bless his holy name. Uh, not only will he promise eternal life. Not only will he answer prayer according to his will, but he's in the forgiveness of sin business. You know, because we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Uh, Y'all didn't hear me. It reminded me of this morning I asked for change. Deacon Ball and the, to my eyes had gave me a 10, a 5, and four ones. I said, you're a little short here, Deak. He said, no, Pastor, you better rub that one. There's two of them sticking together. And so I listened to him and rubbed him, and the other one jumped a loose. He said, I ain't a little short. Are you still good with numbers? I said, one plus one plus one plus one plus one equals five. 
plus 5 equals 10, plus 10 equals 20. He was still standing there. I said, all I got to give you this 20. He said, now the spirit is moving. But I want to tell you, Acts 10 and 43 came after Acts 2 and 8. Through his name, whosoever believeth in him receives remissions of sins. Not only did he give us that precious promise of forgiving us of our sins, he gave us the presence of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2 and 38 says, look like I would have got a shout there. Because he is our teacher. He is our comforter. He leads us in all things. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, just to name a few, I want to make you understand what God has done for you. Not only are you recipients of divine power, but you are also partakers of divine nature. Now, divine power is one thing. You can call God into your life, and all things are passed away, and all things become new. But the Holy Spirit wants you to be like him. It's there in the fourth verse when it says that by these ye might be partakers. You got to want to be in it. Uh, somebody said I'm in it to win it. Uh, I didn't just come to church to just be saved. But I come to be partaker of the saving. Uh, I just didn't come that I might know him. But I come that he and I will make known of him. It said partakers of the divine nature. Uh, my son went to the bank a week ago. I had given him my account number. I said, your name is on the account. I want you to go and withdraw some money and buy a CD for me. I said, when he walked into the bank, he pulled out his ID and the teller said to him, is your daddy Pastor James Hines? The other teller looked at him and said, look at him. And when she said, look at him, Joseph smiled. And they said, oh yeah, that's his child. And Joseph said, you don't have to worry about, he's got the account wired to his phone. He gave me a Pacific number, and if it go over that number, he's going to get an alert on his phone. I went into the bank the next day to make a deposit, and the lady says, your son stopped by. And they said to him, he's had such a beautiful smile. The other lady asked me, how old is he? The other woman asked me, does he have a friend? I said, well, uh, I don't know all of that if he want me to reveal such private information. But if you're about 6'2 and can bench 200 pounds and have six grandchildren for me, I'll tell him about you. The lady looked at me and said, I don't know if we can measure up to that. Uh, Joseph is listening to the sermon and said, can you move on to the clothes? But everywhere I go, people want to know, is he your son? I said, if he don't tell you your name, look at him. And if you can't look at him and see that he's my child, I'm going to tell him, now you got to start talking like me. The other day, he said, they said to me, Pastor, come bless the food. I said, get a little preacher. You go out there, Joe, and bless the food. He just looked at me and just walked on. 
I said, he's just an obedient son. And the Lord going to bless him for that. He don't want to be called preacher, but he is daddy giving him an order. And God's calling you something that you don't want to be called. But be just like Joseph, obedient. God is calling you a faithful servant. You don't want to be faithful. You want to come when you want to come. But God always got somebody who reminding you of who you are. One woman gave her declaration, I ain't coming to Sunday school. But the Lord let her say to the right one, baby, you know we are good soldiers. We go when times are hard. We go when times are bad. You can hear what the scripture writes about us. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Nor death, nor temptation, nor the sword, neither things are present, shall be able to separate us. I want to stop by and say what's separating you from the divine nature of God. I've talked to you long enough, but I want you to hear the Lord Jesus in us. As they observe our lives. People need to see the Christ in us. They need to know that Christ has told us, let your light so shine. Then men can see your good works <laughs> and glorify the Father in heaven. I stop by to tell you, not only do you have divine power, but put on the divine nature of God. This is only possible, children, if we have escaped the corruption that permeates this world through lust. Let me back up and say that again. Your lust have stopped you. Lust is a strong desire. You want your way, but God wants his will. I stop by to tell you, bring the flush under constraint. But you can't bring the flesh under constraint if you don't ask the Holy Ghost in your life because he will constrain your flesh. You'll want to cuss, but he'll make you pray. <laughs> You'll want to fight, but he'll make you humble. <laughs> You'll want what you want, <laughs> but the Holy Spirit, <laughs> he'll take control. <laughs> The old folk would say it this way. Uh, he's a mighty good leader. Uh, he'll lead you from earth to heaven. Uh, I stopped by to tell you, uh, he's still in control. Uh, because I done made him the Lord of my life. Uh, because I want to live again. Uh, and you can't live uh, unless you get life. Uh, and you can't get life uh, unless you get Jesus. Uh, anybody here uh, want to live forever? Uh, I stop by to tell you, uh, he is uh, all you need. Uh, one writer says, uh, he shall supply uh, all of your needs. Uh, another writer said, uh, he'll keep you uh, from falling. Uh, that same writer said, uh, when you fall, uh, he'll lift you uh, and present you uh, before his majesty. Uh, I stop by to tell you, uh, you can't uh, tell him uh, what you done. Uh, he gonna tell you uh, what you done. Uh, he gonna say uh, to all the goats uh, on my left. Uh, he gonna say to the sheep uh, all on my right. Uh, and then he gonna get to talking. Uh, everybody got to him. Uh, Cause the Bible said uh, at the name of Jesus uh, every knee got to bow uh, and every tongue uh, got to confess. Uh, but Jesus uh, gonna be looking uh, and telling the wicked uh, when I was hungry uh, 
you fed me not ha, when I was in jail. Ha, you visited me not. Ha, and the righteous going to say, ha, Lord, ha, and he going to say, hush, ha, I got you covered. Ha, I shed it my blood ha, out yonder ha, on Calvary. Ha, somebody says, ha, it's power ha, in the blood of the Lamb. Ha, he'll heal you ha, if you're sick. Ha, he'll feed you ha, if you're hungry. Ha, but that ain't the good news. Ha, he'll save you ha, when justice come looking for you. Ha, he'll tell justice, ha, hold your hold. Ha, mercy gonna talk. Ha, mercy shed. Ha, the God uh, ha, that we serve, ha, he died out yonder. Ha, they whipped him all night. Ha, they stretched him out wide. Ha, he died. Ha, they pierced him in his side. Ha, water and blood ha, ran from his side. Ha, y'all don't hear me. Ha, water for cleanness. Ha, blood for life. Ha, you got to get it. Ha, get his blood. Ha, but get his water. Ha, be washed. Ha, and clean. Ha, I wish I had church folk now. Ha, I'm talking your language. Ha, somebody ought to walk out ha, and said he died ha, that I could be healed. Ha, he died ha, that I could live. Ha, he died ha, that I could have peace. Ha, he died. Ha, I said he died. Ha, but really, ha, one Sunday morning ha, he got up. Ha, when he got up, ha, he got power ha, and he gave me the privilege ha, to have divine power. Ha. Not only ha, did I get divine power, ha, I love ha, the fishes and loaves. Huh? But I want to look like him. Huh? Anybody here huh? want to look like God? Huh? He's giving you divine nature. Huh? Do good. Huh? Hey, huh? I say do good. Huh? Love your enemies. Huh? Bless them huh? that curse you. Huh? That's the divine nature huh? of God. Huh? Learn how to forgive folk. Huh? Anybody here? Huh? I heard him say, huh? Father, ha, forgive me ha, as I forgive those. Ha, you can't be forgiven ha, until you forgive. Ha. Yes! Ha, glory to God. Ha, glory! God is calling us to glory and virtue. Answer your phone. Answer your phone. You have a privilege of divine power. You have a privilege of divine nature. Answer your phone. Talk with the Lord. It makes everything all right. Sometimes when I'm tired, I think about my brother and friend, Apostle Walker. I said, put on a suit of color. It'll make you feel better. And the Holy Spirit says, so in the natural, so in the spiritual. When you're going through, put on God. It'll make you feel better. The doors of the church is open. Altar call. As the women of God lead us in song and praise. Is there one? There is power, power. Come on, Brother Hurd, stand with us. Power in the blood. Brother Hurd, stand here with us. Of the Lamb. There is power. Wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, 
is there one here today? Oh, there is healing, healing, wonder-working healing in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb. There is healing, healing, wonder-working healing in the precious blood of the Lamb. Praise God. Let's get ready for our worship experience and offering. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. I'm going to ask the apostle to share words with us of what the Spirit dealt with him today in our worship experience. Uh, Serena, will you take the apostle to mic? Thank you. He ain't leaving that woman, do you? He says, I can holler from here. No, we bring you the mic. Well, thank God. Just give God a praise, why don't you, if you love him, amen, amen. Thank, thank God for being in your service this morning. We just, me and my wife, she was uh, instrumental. She wanted to come and just worship with you today, and I wanted to come and worship with you. And uh, you just, just such great people. Uh, Pastor Hines is such a good friend. Sister Hines, praise God. They're just such great people, and we just wanted to be in their presence today. Is that all right? Yeah. Amen. I wanted to hear some good preaching today. Amen. <laughs> and let me tell you, my brother is one of my favorite preachers. Amen. In the country, amen. In the world, praise God. And I just thank God for you. Praise God. Over here at Lily Baptist, just taking care of them. Praise God. Looking after them. We just love them so much, and that's why we're here because we love them and love you. I've, I've received a card from some people here just, just telling me to uh, get better. And I thank God for your, all of your prayers, all of your supplication before God for me. I thank God for Pastor Hines. Me and him, y'all know how we are. We're just close, and he was up to the hospital. I see him all the time. So if you see me and him riding around behind each other, you know because we just boys like that. Amen. <laughs> God bless you all. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Pastor. God, God bless. bless you. Let let uh, let Lady Walker say something. We thank God she had a birthday here. The Lord is I sweet, isn't it? He didn't have to do it, but he did. I just I honor the Lord on today. I love I love Sister Hines. I love Pastor Hines. They are some great people in this city, and they are some great people in this house. You all continue, continue to bless them and see after them. God bless you. God bless you. Come on, let's give them a hand. The Lord is good. Um, I, I'm going to ask for the blessing uh, because I'm going to have a plaque made and for you all to get on board, but um, the Walker's grandfather was a preacher here years ago, and I'm going to put in the endowment fund finance to honor the Walker's family. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what, what I'm saying to you is that I'm going to ask them for the blessing to put uh, their family name as contributors to the Lily Missionary Baptist Church endowment to say we went here and we left something here. And uh, you ought to get on board. It was birthed out of uh, Mother Dolores Thomas. Uh, she left something in her state that to help the church keep moving forward. And I said, I will not let it fall to the ground. Uh, some people that have left so much, I'm going to honor them. But you that are here, you help honor your family or your legacy in, in this community and in this church. Uh, now, the money is not for us. It's for those who's coming. We're going to take care of ourselves, but we're going to give them a chance. All you have to do is go around in this city and look at churches that was well established, but the storm came, and they weren't able to stand the storm. And the storm was only financially. And it started was because they couldn't afford the preacher that could hold the crowd. And so then people just getting just what they can afford. 
and people walking out because people want what they want. See, anytime you've got a PA system that's cracking because you can't get a new PA system, or you got a, 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 a sound track that you got to put by the mic to hear it because you can't get a sound board, people going to go where uh, what I call um, progressive spirit is at. And once you walk out of those buildings and they close up, it becomes hard for you to go back and reopen them. Uh, I wish somebody would help me. You, you're a contractor. You work on houses all the time. You tell folk, open the window, open the door. Because if you don't open and use stuff, it dies. How many of you just parked a car and just let it sit too long and go back, click, click? And God saying, do it while you're strong, Pastor Hines. Because you might have to endure a bad leader. And I, I tell people, every time I see this spirit, it's where uh, the people have done a good leader, uh, injustice, and so God sent them a bad leader to do them an injustice. Just go around the country. Go to these great houses. Go, y'all really got him. That's why all this destroyed. I said, because a lot of times folk don't take care of what really was good to them. How many of you ever lived in a house married with a person and you uh, work, bring your money home, and they feed you off a paper plate saving a china for somebody? <laughs> what you say, Apostle? <laughs> I said, isn't that... Um, But you got to come out of that ignorance. I'm now trying to tell society, girl, enjoy it. Listen, we're in our 60s. We don't have strength like this in our 70s. You ain't going to want to go every place. One of us might get sick. And then I said, no, you might get sick. <laughs> and that's how I motivate her. Go, what, what are you... Listen, don't be talking about you don't want to order that. It costs too much. Eat it and eat what you want and leave it. John Lee's going to get everything we got left. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. All you got to do is start looking at the church. I, I look and I look at, I told uh, Deacon Arnold, I told some of you, I wouldn't have thought Brother Morgan would go home before him. And he said to me, I'm on my way home. I come in here in a wheelchair, Reverend. I used to walk in here. Make sure you go where you want to go before somebody have to push you where they want to take you. you, you did y'all hear what I said? Push you where they want to take you. Hold your offering up. The Lord said, bless these people. Y'all are some beautiful people. And I'm trying to not make light of what you're doing. Now, you won't get blessed every day. But the Lord will keep blessing you. Stewardship, Stewardship. is what do we do, what do, we do? After, we say, after we say, I believe. I believe. Lord, Lord, thank you, thank you. For, blessing me. for blessing me. I'm looking right at you. Kayla, thank you. You believe the Lord going to give you that job that you want? Stand up. Come down here with me. Give me your hand. The Lord has lined it up for you. And he's going to do exceedingly, wonderfully, abundantly, more than you can even think or imagine. I'm telling you, go in his name. God bless you. Come on, give the Lord. I know Kier been waiting on me to say something about that record. I've been waiting to hold it because I mentioned my record yesterday.
and I texted last night, welcome to the record club. All right. Yeah. And, um, I says, see, you have to go where God's going to bless you. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now, believe this or not, and this is for you, Kiera, look up other schools' records, and your time won't break their record. But let me tell you one thing. They can never change what happened yesterday. All right. I, I don't care if somebody come and break your record. They'd have to say we broke Kiara record. Come on. Lord. That school been having track and field for almost 100 years. So for 100 years, for a century, you're the greatest that ever do that okay, event. I wish somebody here, you ought to stand up on that one. Yeah. That, no, you going to tell me a hundred years, you the greatest in it? Who would have ever thought, look, mama, but she's getting rewarded. Look, mama, drive back and forth, come up here. Dad and them out of time. I'm going to yeah. make sure you be on. That's right. Dad ain't as good as me, but don't tell him, uh, Pastor Hines, right. and you tell him he need to tune in a little bit better here. Yeah, I know who to bring behind it, you know. Praise God for Joe and Lily. They just, Dad, I think you should uh, do this. This, 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 I alluded in the sermon. Uh, Joe, two things, three things. Least, I said, hey, where y'all buying your CDs at? I've been pushing them. Save your money. Quit spending your money. You're going to need money when you get in them 40s and 50s. You're going right. to like life. Right. You ain't going to want to work all your life. Find something you like doing and you might want to keep doing it. But ask Mary Sanders, after 40 some years of other folk children, I'm gone. But you can't leave if you ain't got nothing to leave with. So Lee's coming. She said, Dad, uh, down in uh, Nebraska, they got a bank down there that's giving five and a quarter for a certificate of deposit. I said, good. She said, you can get online and get it. Uh, minimum, you need $50. I said, all right. Uh, buy $500. She said, I got it. Joe, he on the phone. We got a, we call it a Jesus financial conference. Mm -hmm. Joe said, well, Michigan State Federal Credit Union, they have compounding interest, but they have an add-on CD. Right, right. You can lock in at this rate of $50, and whenever you want to put some money to it, you get that guaranteed rate, and they give you 12 months, but you can't put over more than $10,000. I said, good. Hang on the phone. Lee and T look at me and said, boy, they got it. I says, I can start folding my tent up. I'm walking yesterday, walking Joe to his car. Joe, Dad, don't step over that. He get on the ground, he get five pennies. I said, oh, it's two more. He said, here you have. I said, no, you have it. Go and add to your add-on CD. He said, I got it. Now, you might won't think five cents as much. But it's the principle. Don't be wasteful. That's right. Now this is what my son said to me. He said somebody pulled in this parking lot and threw this change on the ground because they don't think it's worth nothing. But me and you gonna make it something, Dad. The lawn man who cuts my lawn and in the garden. He come. He said, "Pass hours to be six dollars." I said, I "Took all my money out." He said, "I got forty-five dollars. I give you the other fifteen. He said, "Pass hours. Put it fifteen dollars in church for me." Yeah. Charles Grayson. We ain't a lot of men even know. Well, my, 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 my little helpful deacon ain't here this Sunday. Yeah. The nod the third. He'd have the back. But the Holy Spirit said, put your hand in your pocket. He said, I didn't leave you broke. I had these two pennies left. I says, see, I could have left my wealth on the ground. Right. But I done trained my child. Now he's a man. Carrying on. Right. That's what I'm trying to uh, get you to. If I can get you all to start taking care of your finance, this yeah. church finance will be taken care of. Mm, I don't want this church to have more than you. Well, we're going to leave all the money for folk we don't even know, and all of y'all still broke. Mm. I want you to take care of your finance.
you young people, listen and grab hold. Yes, yes. You don't want to struggle financially. My God. And folk don't have to be nice. No, sir. They can walk in and say, we don't need you no more. Y'all love me, and y'all will say, well, Pastor Hines did a whole lot. You let a whole different group of people come in here, don't know nothing about the last 35 years. He be like, he's too old. But come on now. Uh, he, don't, he don't sing like we like him to sing. Right, you tell the truth. Uh, let's get somebody else. That's right, Pastor. I, I'm, don't tell me what people won't do. Mm. I'm with you until I stop liking you. Tell him, says, Come on, I want to see you enjoy yourself. Give me that privilege. Don't not buy the dress. Buy the dress. It's, listen here, you're going to be like my mama coming to the door with the underwear on your head and a you know, nightgown. Come on in, James. How many of y'all got them kind of mamas or grandmamas? Go and raise your hand, girl. Don't be ashamed of your grandparents. Well, I got news for you. You going, you looking just like them. 40 years, you be coming to the dope keys, but like, girl, get in the house. That's, 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 look, that's the grandchildren. I don't see a whole lot of grandmothers at Macy's. Mary Sam said, I don't care what you say. I'm going to be in there. <laughs> Come on, stand on your feet and bring your offering. And when you walk around, ask God to do something for you. Starting outside. Come on, Brother Glenn. Thank you. The middle can come also. Huh? Starting next Sunday, bring an offering in for your endowment and put your name on it. Say what you plan in. Candidate, have the candidate, yes, amen. Kyla, will you go with her? Thank you. Oh, missionary Kyla Johnson. Praise amen. God for Praise give the Lord. God. I'm speaking something on her life. The Lord is good. Let us uh, pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We thank you for those who have given online and have given in the service. God, we believe you've given us more than enough, and we thank you for that. Thank In you your Lord. son's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for the people from Florida and Mississippi and Dallas that have tuned in, and from Detroit, uh, the state of Michigan, we thank you, and we pray that the Lord just be kind to that Satan won't steal the seeds that was planted in your life during this service. I pray that the saints everywhere would pray that the word of God would have free course. I want to ask the daughter here, basketball player, right? Stand up and tell us, what did the Spirit speak to you about today? God bless you. Come on. Daughter, give me your name again. 
all, all the K's sitting together. K Lon Bundle. All right. Bless God for you. We claim in her as a Lily Missionary Baptist Church honorary member. As these brothers get ready, I'm going to go and get ready. Do I still have the keys? You don't need the keys. <laughs> I got them. I see them up there. Hey, yeah, won't you let me in? Please. 